Hey, this is Dumpster Marcus, and this is Scrapping During a Tornado. There are trees down right there you can see there's branches everywhere but I got a call through the next door app to get a refrigerator and uh, washer I think dishwasher regular washer so she said she put it out to the curb I drove by it is pouring rain out and it's still there so you know what I gotta go get it so doesn't matter if it's a tornado or not I gotta get that my car is on E there's branches stuff everywhere poor mailman right here all right I have to get <laughs> right across the street here where this police car is but I guess there's a down power line and I can't get over there You can see the cop right there. I guess there's a power line and right next to the cop, right next to that sign, there is the washer and the refrigerator. So yeah, and the power line's like right in front of that. So that's great. I guess I'll wait here for a minute and see what's going on, but it's pouring out. I don't want to go outside and talk to the cop because the power line is literally right next to the washer and dryer. All right, the lady uh, got me in. The cops moving and uh, I get to pick up my stuff. Sweet, I got them. I'm soaked. The guy, the guy was, the guy was really a nice guy. Uh, I guess his neighbor's tree fell down and blew the power line out from the storm, and uh, so the cops are blocking the street. But the cops moved. They were all cool. Uh, this is not my town, so I didn't really know any of the cops. But yeah, I got a newer uh, refrigerator, so a lot of parts I can be able to sell. And the washer, he said the pulley's gone, so I can be able to sell some parts off the washer, parts off the fridge, so nice. I'll show you them when I get home. The guy said they're only four years old, and he, and, uh, he had a five-year warranty, so he got new ones. So yeah, five-year-old fridges, nice. All right, here's the washer. He said the belt went on the bottom. It is a new Kenmore high, high efficiency washer. This knob's broke, so that kind of sucks. But I could sell the motherboard for it and the switches and, and this almost brand new Kenmore. Wow, so nice inside. I could sell a lot of stuff. So good score. All right, these shelves, these shelves are really light, but they're better than nothing. All right, I cleaned my backyard like behind my garage and I have a bunch of aluminum back there so I figured I'd just bring it in so here's what I got. All right, I got a truck full of aluminum. It's probably a lot of weight, I don't know, probably a hundred some pounds. So let's see what I get. All right, here's all the scrap. I got that in the tornado storm and all these shelves the other day from cleaning and that washer. All the pieces are off that are sellable. So yeah, probably 30 bucks or so. So let's see what I get.
got to bring this package to the post office, bring this one to FedEx. And then I got two calls for a dishwasher and a bunch of computers or something like that. So, Nextdoor app. So, if you don't have that, download Nextdoor on your phone and put that you uh, pick up stuff. So, let's get this day going. <laughs> watches my YouTube video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Uh, his buddy, Jamie, thank you, uh, hooked me up with his boss. I don't know what they do, but uh, they have a bunch of stuff at this house for me. It's like a riding lawnmower, a hot water heater, a bed frame, and a refrigerator or something like that. So going to pick all that stuff up. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. And let's go get some scrap. All right, I'm pulling up to it almost right up here. It's literally like four minutes away from my house. Uh, the guy said he put it out to the curb because an excavator had to come and flatten the property. And you guys know how it is with scrap. Once it's to the curb, that is gonna be gone in 10 minutes. So I hit him up, said I'll be up in two minutes. So it's gonna be right here on the right. Hopefully it's still there. There it is. Oh, look, there's a turkey back there. There's an the excavator back there. Yeah, there used to be a house here. That I could have all this stuff hot water heater, old school refrigerator, the bed frame, and this old simplicity tractor. So, yeah, not a bad score. Thanks so much, guys. All the tires are flat. That's heavy. All right, this is everything. Old school fridge is heavy as hell. I couldn't even get that out of a basement if I tried. Jesus Christ. This old school lawnmower, Simplicity 4108 electric start. Oh, this bed frame, that bed frame. Hot little hot water heater, little, little one. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks cousin Rick for watching all the time i really appreciate it you hooked me up with stuff before thank you uh rick's friend jamie for hooking me up 
Thank you so much. Supporting the dream. Woo! Just went to my bank guy for the last time. He's retiring, but he said he's going to give my number to the other guy that's going to take over for him. So hopefully he starts calling me. But I got these two printers, which are garbage because it's all plastic. I told him I don't take computer monitors anymore, like the old CRT ones, because my town, I can't recycle them. I don't know, I got about 20 some desktops, bunch of servers, bunch of keyboards, bunch of laptops, uh, more computer towers, uh, some of them APC power supplies, which have good batteries in them, some flat screens, all power cords in here, more uh, APC uh, smart ups. Uh, most of the time, these batteries are just dead. So uh, I just take the batteries out and sell the actual unit for like 60 bucks. And here's the best score. I got all these laptop uh, power supplies. Most of them are like Dell, which sell for like 20 bucks a piece almost. And these are the best. You can look these up even. They're made from Sheertech model MJ1000. Uh, they're check and money like joggers. This black piece shakes really much, shakes a lot, and it makes the checks and money like, you know, fall flat. And these sell for 50 bucks a piece, free shipping. They weigh pretty much. So it'll probably at least be 10 bucks for shipping. So I could probably profit at least 25 bucks each and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. So, not bad. So, not a bad score. Uh, Step it on tape. But hopefully, the new guy starts calling me and I can make some money off him. But, yeah, not a bad score. I'm taking this load in with the old refrigerator and whatnot, uh, the tractor and stuff. I got a dryer. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, uh, I post a lot more on Instagram. I post there all the time. And uh, I got a washer the one day, or yesterday. I caught a bunny in my yard trying to eat my garden all the time. So I took it to the woods on the way back. I found a dryer. Didn't have my GoPro, so I always have no memory on my phone. So I couldn't tape it. So I put a lot of stories on Instagram, so check me out. I think I got three washers in his truck. I weighed, where is it, 1,260 pounds for a total of $97.31. So that dryer didn't weigh much. So for that one big load from my cousin, I got probably around 85 bucks, I would say at least, because I threw in a couple of things I had around the house. So thanks a lot. Uh, I was five minutes away from my house, but it was heavy. My ribs were hurting on that one.